Bay State Medical Center in Springfield is the leading health facility in Western Massachusetts. The center offers weekly mindfulness group practice sessions free to all employees, and many are making time to practice and integrate the techniques into their busy lives. I'm able to manage the challenges and stresses of every day a little bit easier. If you'd like to allow the awareness to expand to include the entire body from the top of the head all the way down to the toes. People feel like they have a more sense of control in their lives, control over the reactions that are happening from moment to moment. Maybe staying relatively safe. So when something really challenging happens at work, they're able to catch themselves, shift and change a little bit, and have it not have so much wear and tear on them. I've always worked on the trauma service. Um, we also take on acute care surgery, so we tend to take care of the really sick patients. We see people who are energized, who are having the flight or fight response based on having recently had a trauma or are in the midst of a critical illness. Either they are very ill and then their family members around them are also um, very engaged and are usually fearful or anxious or worried and they may or may not have had any warning about this illness that's going to happen or the trauma that occurs. And so um, it is a time of extreme stress for families. And being able to walk through that with them can be difficult. After realizing that my own response to stressful situations wasn't as ideal as I would like it to be, and that the overall kind of stress of the job and dealing with not just the resuscitations and patients, but dealing with the the paperwork and the logistics and all the other things of being a physician, um, I was recommended to go to a mindfulness meditation retreat. So I'm just going to go take a look at her films and see how and see how the films look, and uh, go from there. For I think the mindfulness helps you be aware of what you're doing. It helps you be in the moment to the degree that you can be there with the patient, but yet be aware of how you're being with the patient. And noting what's happening with the mind, if it's with the breath, staying right here. If you know, if it's wandered off or getting distracted, see if it's possible to come right back. The more calm that I am as the surgeon, as the sort of leader of the team, the better the situation can go. Um, if I get anxious or lose my cool, the room will quickly devolve. Because you do see that happening sometimes. You know, you can see where you get a little anxious and you're a little louder than you otherwise would be. And then the room kind of really pays attention and takes notice. And then they take their calm from you. So the more calm that you can be, the more calm the room can be and the more efficiently it can function. And it's absolutely critical when the, the more critical the patient is. I think mindfulness has been really helpful for me in allowing me to focus and actually have a plan about how to take care of myself so I can help take care of them. So that my anxiety in the situation um, isn't the forefront. I can help them take care of theirs. Hey, Jason. How are you? You can be a better interviewer and get more information from your patient. If they really feel that you are connected with them, that you are paying your full attention to them as a person, they're going to be much more open with you. You're going to get more information. And then you're going to be able to process that information in a better way. And you're also going to be able to avoid some of the fairly common errors um, that happen. If you've had some mindfulness training and are aware of the potential for these kinds of errors and you have trained your brain to, to be in a sort of awareness mode all the time, you can, I believe, prevent a lot of the errors that happen in medicine now.